Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Today we have a really interesting challenge, so I think a lot of you are going to be able to figure this math problem out. It's not that difficult. The problem is 5 plus 5 times 5 minus 5. Uh, and we want to get this down to one value. Right here we have three options, so option A, B and C. So we don't want to use our calculator, so put those calculators away. We just want to use that supercomputer in our head. This is much better. And again, this shouldn't be too difficult problem, but there's a couple things here. Some of you are going to make a very common error and of course I'll talk about all of this in just one minute, but I don't want to give you too many hints as I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this problem. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second and then I'll walk this to the complete solution step by step. Okay, so here's our question, here's our option, choose one option where do you think is correct and write your option down into the comment section. So there are two types of people in the world. So first type of people solve this question like that. So let's look closely what is the first type of solution. So take a look closely. We have our challenge. So this is like our first interpretation. So 5 plus 5 times 5 minus 5. So here's our our challenge. And the first type of student solve this question like that. Uh, they say, okay, 5 plus 5 on the left hand side equal to 10. Yeah, and we have times and we have 5 minus 5 on the on the right hand side equal to equal to 0. Yeah, and we, we have like a correct answer. Maybe it's this time 10 times 0 equal to equal to 0. We have this option A. So first type of student solve this question like that. This They want to solve this randomly. So they start with addition. They jump from, from, from left to right to this subtraction, then multiplication. So they solve this question absolutely randomly. But I want to say one really interesting note from me. Uh, in terms of math, this is not good to solve this question randomly. We should know what are the correct property, correct rule, correct order of operation, because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, we should know, for example, that they look at this PMDMC. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according According to PMDMC, and we have these uh, steps right here. So parentheses have the highest priority and the lowest priority: addition and subtraction. And right now, let's solve this question according to this according to this PMDMC. Okay, let's look at it. So here's our second interpretation. We have our challenge. We have five plus five times five minus 5. So here's our challenge and right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC. What is the first step according to PMDMC? The first step is parentheses. So now we should scan where do we have these parentheses right here. Let's look at it. For me personally I don't see any parentheses so we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses so we just skip this part. We don't have any brackets in this case so we just skip this part. What about exponents? Uh, let's look at it. Let's scan where do we have these exponents right here. I don't see any of those. We don't have any power so we just skip this part as well. We don't have any exponent. Okay, the next step, multiplication and division group. Yeah, so we need to find, we should find where do we have multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. We have three signs, addition, multiplication and subtraction. We need this multiplication sign because right now we find multiplication and division group. So right here, let's scan addition. We are not interested in this addition. We are interested in this multiplication. So this is really interesting moment because as you can see, we find this multiplication sign. Yeah, we don't have division sign. But as you can see, we have four steps and we finally found these one step that we really need because multiplication is our first step. So the highest priority parentheses. If you don't have parentheses, the highest priority goes to exponents. And then if you don't have exponent, the higher priority goes to multiplication and division group. In, in our case, we don't have division, we have multiplication. So let's start from this multiplication. So we have 5 plus 5 times 5 equal to 25. So plus 25 and minus minus 5. Okay, let's go to the next step. Addition and subtraction. We have both signs, addition and subtraction. And to be honest, we don't need this PMDMC more because right here, very obvious uh, addition, very obvious subtraction. So we don't need this order of operation. We have only addition and subtraction. So we, we can easily do this. We can easily cancel this from the left to right. But let's add it. So from left hand side, 5 plus 25 equal to 30 and 30 minus 5 equal to 25. So as you can see, completely different answer. I want to separate this 
solution completely different answer with this with this zero okay so we have this solution and this solution but here's maybe the main question what is the correct answer to this problem zero or 25 and my my answer is the next of course the correct answer is 25 because we solve it according a correct order of operation if you're talking about zero this is absolutely wrong solution because as you can see we solve this absolutely randomly we solve this question wherever we want we start with addition we end with multiplication which is very bad in terms of math because addition and subtraction is after multiplication so every time we should start from this multiplication but with one really interesting trick right here we should put brackets and then this question will be okay for us because then we should start from this parenthesis because parentheses have the highest priority and then we should add it first because per addition is inside parentheses and parentheses have the highest priority and then absolutely the same case on the right hand side so right here zero right here ten and correct answer will be zero but this case is with parentheses in our case we don't have parentheses so we just reject this uh, option a which is absolutely wrong in terms of in terms of our question because we don't have any parentheses in our case correct answer is 25 so i hope your answer is the same as mine let's write it so let's write our answer let's write our answer this is option option b is a correct answer to this question so we hope you understand this explanation i hope you understand uh, this approach but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong on the other hand if you made this error i'm happy you made this because you won't make this error again you'll be like oh now i get it so let's go ahead and apply the order of operation now pretty this stuff so here is our problem here is our here is our option so anytime you're faced with like a numeric expression like that you'll get better at this through through practice <clears throat> okay you can easily check it in your scientific or graphing calculator but <clears throat> with one really interesting moment for example you plug in this this question in your in your regular calculator just imagine you plug in this question you start uh, plugging 5 plus 5 your calculator sometimes gives you uh, instantly gives you 10 and then uh, calculator don't know what you want to plug in further you want to multiply substrate calculator don't know about it so they start with this addition then you multiply this 10 right here by 5 you have 50 and 50 minus 5 equal to 45 so as you can see this is completely wrong solution so in terms of mass you should you should have a <clears throat> scientific or graphing calculator or something more like sophisticated uh, calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem this is very important important moment because if you plug in the entire problem and then your calculators know that uh, we have multiplication subtraction and addition calculators no, calculator know about it knows about it and then they know that a multiplication first then addition subtraction from left to right but sometimes if you plug in this 5 plus 5 you can easily uh, check it with me right now take your calculator and try to to check it with me just plug in this challenge and i give maybe 50 percent that sometimes the calculators gives you 45 it happens sometimes but uh, maybe more generally calculators gives you 25 which is absolutely correct correct solution in our case so i hope you understand my explanation i hope you i hope you learn something new and i hope your answer is the same as mine i hope your answer is 25 because if your answer is zero this is obviously very bad if your answer is zero and 45 this is bad as well because you solve this question absolutely randomly which is not good which is not good in terms of in terms of math so definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong okay now if you need to learn basic math interesting brain test iq question right if you're struggling with basic math interesting in like a uh, pre-algebra concept you can easily subscribe to my channel i have a ton of videos i have um, videos every day with really interesting really interesting questions so if you need help with any of these classes you can just go through my youtube channel i have a ton of videos so with that being said i definitely wish all the best in your mathematic adventures thank you for your time wishing you all the best and take care of yourself if you're talking about this question once more, a really interesting note for me that multiplication and division is all the time before addition and subtraction. This is maybe the main thing you should understand because sometimes people forget about it, they solve this question randomly, it's like that, but we should know that multiplication and division group is all the time before addition and subtraction group. Obviously, if you have parentheses, then doesn't matter what operation you have inside parentheses, you should start with these parentheses, as I told before right here. So doesn't matter what we have inside parentheses, we should start solving this we should evaluate this expression inside parentheses okay this is very important moment
then correct answer will be zero, obviously. Okay. So here's my explanation to this uh, to this question. I hope your answer is the same as mine. I hope you you know about P and DMC. I hope you learn something new, which is really important in terms of math because sometimes happen that students don't know about order of operation. They solve this problem randomly, which is which is really bad. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Okay. Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, right? If you're struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concept, subscribe to my channel. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure and if this video is helpful in any way don't forget to like and subscribe as it definitely helped me out now for this particular video have a great day and take care of yourself